season, I'm going to be showing you guys what different varieties of grapes we have in here. The different varieties we have ripen not at the same time. This different variety right here is smaller and it's called Maricol Foch. They are deep purple and a little bit smaller than the average. Let me show you here. This is a small marble that's about half an inch and that's how the Maricol Foch is compared to it. Now I also have some over there which are is on the entrance of our compost. So let's go see. You can see we have a lot here. And again, here's the marble and here's the bear called Pooch. And you can see the size difference. A bunch. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It looks like a pitch. Now as you can see, the inside is like a dark purple and the seeds are much more bigger. So all of these are so big. So my dad planted these two years ago, which is 2004. We've got the vibe locally, it's already acclimated to our weather. And that's why they're doing so well. And it's growing up over our shed. Oh my god, it's like a vine comb. We like to name different areas of our garden. And we call this entrance Blair Witch Project. Arbor. And this is what the rest of the grapes look like as of today. Mm. They're all green right now, so we don't know which one's which. But we will identify as they right there. This vine right here is called Swenson Red. It's not fully ripe yet, but it's looking good. Let me pick this one. As you can see, this is not even ripe yet, but it's really, really sweet and good. That's Swenson Red. And it's not sour at all. We still have a bunch of Miracle folks left. Oh my and my God. grandma's harvesting some right now for herself. Woo. And she's gonna make the wine. I'm gonna make the Maru wine. <laughs> Maru, very sweet, but it's a seed, but it's okay. So this is how much we got today. And my, there is much more than my grandma's gonna make wine with. 
So this is how our grape arbor is looking today. So this is how our grapes are looking. But here's some Vanessas. They're somewhat ripe. Those are definitely ripe. Uh, those are the Vanessas and then the, the green ones are the Niagaras. So we're gonna grab a little bit for dinner. Now look at these. This is quite large. These are the Niagaras and they're actually ripe. How juicy that is. Mm. I'm gonna grab some of those for dinner. So let's do a little bit of a grape identification. These are the Niagaras. These are the Concords compared to that. These are the Mfotch. You can see the size difference between Niagaras and that. And the red ones over there are the Vanessa red grapes. And there's some Concords right there. That's plenty for dinner. We'll come back pretty much every day. We get a little bit every day. We'll give them a chance to ripen every day and we'll grab a little bit every day. And we have more than plenty to last us. Probably throughout November. Today, um, we are going to be doing grape harvesting and see these red grapes? These are Vanessa red grapes. These ones over here are Concord. Those are Concord. So right now we're gonna go harvest them. So let's harvest some grapes. Woo, that is close. Okay. Well guys, so it is September, um, September 25th, I believe, 2016. And my dad's harvesting some grapes because we haven't been harvesting some uh, grapes that much this year. We've mostly been harvesting cinco pears and our raspberries. So now we're harvesting our grapes. Yeah. So here is ours. So let me show you. Okay, so you see these red ones? Those are um, Vanessa red grapes. The purple ones that he's holding are Concord. I'm going to have another one of these. That's how many grapes we have. And that is like bigger. That is like bigger than my foot. Compare it. We also planted some Spartans. But they didn't grow yet. So here are grapes. Concords are really and, sweet. Yeah, Concords are very, very sweet. So, yes, those, we still have a bunch more, but 
I am guessing that we are going to be leaving those because we already have like a full bucket already. So this is what we got today. <laughs> It's a little chilly now. Uh, we've hit the low 50s this week and it's gonna be like this I think going forward. We might have a few Indian summer but generally it is getting cold. Fall is creeping up as you can tell from the leaves. Uh, they're falling, crumbling. It's not even uh, October yet. So it seems like winter is coming a little bit early this year. So we're gonna grab some grapes. This is what we got today. Uh, clean it up, they're looking a little bit raggedy. It's pretty interesting that in some years we have a lot of Concord and not the other ones. This year we seem to have a little bit of, a, of everything, but we certainly have a lot more Vanessa red grapes than the previous years. And this is the first time some reason the Concord has somewhat disappeared. But we don't have much. Maybe I trimmed a lot of them off when I did the pruning. Because the way we have these planted, you really can't tell which is what when I start pruning the vines in November and in early spring. So we'll come back tomorrow and get some more after we clean this up and eat some. But you can tell we still have a lot more. It is November 14th. We're gonna have some frost in the next few days and I think that's pretty much gonna be it. An unusually warm November, but it's gonna get colder. And so we're able to harvest more. This is pretty much the last harvest of the season. They're looking raggedy, but they're still good. And actually, they're a lot sweeter than the previous ones because they've been in the vines for a while. You can see uh, we still have some that are here. And they're still good. You can see they're very ripe. Very sweet. So we'll just leave these for the animals. But as you can see, um, we still have a few. So we'll just leave those here. But I'm gonna have to come back here probably next week and do some trimming, not too much, but some trimmings and prune, uh, prune a lot of these vines that are kind of going wild outwards here. And so that I can see which are the thinner ones like this and start to get rid of them. And trim them back and really focus on leaving uh, the bigger, thicker vines. But, you know, some cases like these that are out, somehow find a way to tuck them in or cut them back. But, and then definitely at the top, there's a lot there that needs to be taken care of. Uh, for the most part, all the leaves are done. So, see you next year.